In this final tutorial on lofting, we're going to look a bit more complex loft at say we've got different profiles that appear along a line um, and I'm going to show you how we can go about creating those profiles and actually creating the planes um, which would be the most difficult part. So I'm going to show you a nice technique that we can use to use this. This is a kind of it's a shoehorn um, design that we're going to kind of mess around with but it's not going to be too accurate. Okay so it's just more of a method tutorial. So we're going to new part OK. Right, first of all, we want to go into my right plane. OK, so we're going to set up some guidelines and we're going to set up our curve. So we're going to start here. We're going to straight and then and we're going to go to our second, third, um, maybe let's have a fourth as well okay so each of these can have different dimensions so we'll give that dimension of 50 I don't know 50 60 let's give that dimension 60 50 and we'll just give that one 80 or 100 Okay, so it's it's really doesn't matter what they what your dimensions are here guys. So we're gonna start off and it's gonna come straight along there and then here's gonna be our first point up like so and center line here to so next point and then finish off straight. Okay. So these two are gonna be equal. Right, so first off let's give a dimension here of say forty five this one as well that's going to be 45 <laughs> then this one here will be 30 okay and then down into a straight so now we're going to use our spline tool to create our curve that runs through so click on the first point there second point third point fourth point and fifth point okay so actually, to be fair, we don't need that first point there. Because what this curve wants to do is actually, if we select this curve here, delete that using the trim tool, select this curve here and this line here, and what we can do is have equal curvature. So what that does is it makes that line go up straight there. Okay, great. We've got all of our points now that we can use in order to create our reference plane. So we've got this. Now we'll go into reference geometry at the end there. Okay, so we've got our front plane, which is our first point. Um, now I can use reference geometry plane. So we use our front plane and we'll click on that point there. So with the front plane in there, we've got our first point. So that's plane one. Now reference geometry plane two is gonna be here, but also we've got to select the line. Hang on, I'll make sure nothing's selected before we do it. So select the point there, and then we'll select the line. And notice, SolidWorks will create a plane that is actually um, perpendicular with the line. So that's really good for us. Okay, so we'll do that all the way along at all our points. So remember, we don't want anything selected to start off with. We can select the point, and then we'll select the line. Great. And then for the final point, select the point and select the line and there we go we've got all our planes now ready to go so first off we'll create our first sketch in plane one okay so we use a little set center rectangle from that point there I mean and we'll want that 45 and we'll give that a dimension of maybe 5 for now ok 45 and 5 and again on our front plane if I exit out that sketch and I've created that I can go sketch I can select that sketch here over here in the window and I can go convert and that will just convert everything from there 
into there. Okay. So there we go. There's that first point. Now exit out of there. Now we go up into this profile here. And we can maybe have a circle. The radius of five. Exit out of that. And then we go up into this plane here, sketch. Give that radius 10. Exit out of there. And then into the final plane, right click, sketch. And at the end, make sure that your circles are all centered along here so oops I go back into that sketch smart to mention that and give that a dimension of 10 okay so now X out of there now we'll see if this works so we go to lofted boss base and we'll select our first point second remember trying to line these all up so third and then our fifth and there we go okay we'll green tick that there we go there we've got our kind of shape and we can always go back here and edit these shapes here but I'm going to leave that for now um, it's just an insight how we can do much more complex kind of shapes and so on so if I hide all my planes now I'll we'll hide the sketch. Now we'll add polished just add a appearance to it and file. Save as let's just call it shoehorn. Shoe. And we'll save. Yes. Okay. And that concludes the more complex lofting tutorial.